Hello and welcome back to another Saving Your Disaster campaign. I am still hard this time at work on I call the current it research the Advent priority, Lockdown. Commander. Uh, it is a disaster campaign that uh, one of our viewers has sent us. Um, and essentially when I first reviewed it, uh, I was under the impression oh, it's not so bad. But then I looked through all of the details and found out, oh yeah, it's quite a doozy. So first and foremost, we're at the end of uh, 2035. So that is end game level. Um, at this point, the enemies are at uh, the peak of their strengths. They are not going to become any stronger than that. If you look at the uh, enemies that he encountered, um, he already had gatekeepers, sector pods, so basically all bets are off at this point. So the game expects you to have the highest level soldiers and the best equipment to kind of um, compete with that. Well, let's take a look at the soldiers first. Uh, number one, uh, the roster is quite empty. The only uh, person that's um, left over is Fatal, uh, who almost had been fatally injured, uh, pun intended. If you He's the, the only one the um, who I survived this, really, in the ma bad. as a major. Yes, and the rest is power. pretty much rookies and or in training, so we couldn't, or we couldn't even field a complete squad at this point. Um, the well. They are... It kind of goes without saying that the hall the, of uh, or the uh, fallen, so the memorial is quite long. I think uh, he mentioned 37. This almost looks like a little bit more than that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighty, twenty. Maybe he's right. I I'm not sure. It might be 37. Um, I'll take his word for it. Uh, looks uh, looks like about 40. Anyways. It's clear that um, the person I looked through the memorial of the fallen generally knows what they are doing. A lot of kills on uh, many of the soldiers, but in many of the missions that he was playing, he lost like two or three. And losses really can um, accumulate over time. And if you don't have like that breakthrough, then things are getting a little bit out of Our hand. Work is proceeding and here as is where we come commander. to the point where this campaign really has a couple of problems. Um, he has not researched uh, power ar powered armor, which makes it even more likely that um, his soldiers are going to be killed. Uh, none of the plasma weapons have been uh, researched, and he didn't have money for the plasma upgrades of the normal um, working with the normal the weapons. So essentially, we're Avenger. playing with I've had a tier gear finding room against to end some game of our more uh, soldiers, and that experience. often happens for people Perhaps who are uh, playing legendary for the first down. amount of um, uh, for the first time. December 2030, uh, 2035, you should be done with the entirety of uh, the core research. You should have the best weapons, the best armor done. Uh, this is really, really late. So either <clears throat> he hasn't been using the uh, scientists very well, or he rushed uh, through the Shadow Chamber projects. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, a lot of archives. Look at that. He rushed through that and basically that see that's the problem he only um, um, focused on the storyline projects disregarding the actual important research well uh, that's the answer a big blunder there but um, i guess you learn out of your mistakes the biggest issue here on the strategic layer now is why that is called the advent lockdown um, we do have not only all of uh, the um, chosen with almost full knowledge i mean look at that uh, she can attack any time and hunt progress is going what is she doing what's what's her yeah Av avenger assault okay i see how this is going he probably has lost the avenger assault so we gotta get uh, people as soon as possible uh because it seems like we need to defend the avenger very soon um so that's a problem but that's not all active dark events we got alien cipher which i hope we're going to get rid of soon ish the problem is uh, that increases all um, intel by a hundred uh, intel cost by 100 percent so even if i want to make contact to that very near region we're talking 160 intel and with uh currently 33 intel that's Avenger not going to sit well with course. us which means we're now going to do the only reasonable thing that we could do Market and are going to sell a lot of stuff. Um, I'll keep the sectored corpses because I think I want mine shields. 
They are interested in the sector port rack. Um, you know what? Sorry, uh, we're going to sell that. Um, this would give you the highest, um, uh, the highest hacking um, a gremlin drone, but you don't need that at this very moment. Advent Trooper can sell a couple of those. That Aaron, of course, I think we're going to keep them. I want to build some special armor for him. Um, well, it doesn't look good. He has med one uh, Venom rounds and one med kit, and that is it. Holy moly. It's not looking good. I would still keep the facility lead um, as a backup plan in case we're running into, uh, into trouble. In terms of buying, that's quite a bit that you could buy at this point, but he doesn't have intel and we need to save it. So what we're going to do is we're going to recruit. That's the first thing. Gotta spend quite a few supplies there. And let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. If this is a meat grinder campaign, then you've got to fill the meat grinder with meat. Um, we are at least having a full roster now. Sort of. One, two, three, four. Uh, well, he wouldn't interrupt the specialist training. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess that's as good as it gets. Um, in terms of just, just give the purchasing started, items, Commander. because I'm deeply you lived in one of the colonies for a few years before linking up about the central, getting right? um, one of the advantages of getting ambushed. On the How about it was very we're but there was a price. Oh, he doesn't. He does not have. people in those cities don't seem to mind. He does not much. have the defense yes, relay yet. Advent is always hmm. watching. Ouch. Between their forces and the aliens themselves, they see everything. Not to mention the automated systems. Well, There's nothing that's bad. Quite like providing I was hoping we could build a defense a matrix post. and get a couple of extra towers going, but that research hasn't been done Work yet. Is well underway, Commander. And we don't have corpses to do that either. Okay, well, we gotta play with whatever we we have available. What can I do for Next you, up, let's build some items. So, we're definitely getting one time uh, the blue screen rounds to uh, deal with the robotic units. And we could either go for mine shield, which I think isn't too bad of an idea, um, a flashbang, or an EMP bomb. I like the, almost like the idea of an EMP bomb because it would help us uh, with the um, mechanical units got a couple of other options here as well he has not even upgraded the pistols well I'm not going to start upgrading to mech pistols if we can jump to beam pistols so you can see there are a couple of uh, upgrades that are simply missing he's probably lost a lot of missions okay so we're going to get an EMP bomb at this point I am mostly mostly afraid about the mechanical units and if we if we somehow can deal with them that would be awesome okay what else we gotta get intel which is pretty straightforward he has one continent bonus armor and vest projects in, uh, finished immediately Setting that doesn't help us so let's get some uh, intel and hope that the um, dark event as soon so as possible. many have suffered for your efforts. Even Losing monthly income certainly doesn't help. Innocent. When will it end, Commander? Yeah, and we have nothing Our that we can stand for. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Good, perfect. We got a specialist. That's a good start. And we also saw that some people recovered from their wounds let's get another specialist going he will need two and he got a ranger probably a grenadier missing i retract that statement so 
Let's get a grenadier going next. Perfect. As far as you can consider that situation perfect. Let's see if we can even help with making contact. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Nice. So we got a Colonel Reaper. I'm that definitely that is it. an awesome reward. One of my best people has decided to come join Let's your Let's take a look what else we can get. Um, recruit scientists, not necessary at this point. Oh wow, and he has also not continued to hunt the Chosen, probably because he was lacking. Uh, probably because he was lacking the the correct soldiers to do so. Okay, who would be our biggest um, our biggest win to start with? Probably um, the hunter. If we could start with him. <clears throat> Getting the sniper rifle would definitely help us. I don't see what else we should do at this point. Oh wait, can we get some intel? That would actually be a great idea. Engineer. Supplies. No. No intel. There is a promotion in here, which uh, would be pretty helpful question that I'm asking myself is should we risk leaving the skirmisher out and I am going to take that uh, risk um, getting him promoted at this point is uh, would solve a lot of our problems it just makes it a bit more difficult for us to go through problem that I'm seeing is I would need a second high level soldier I, I retract my statement so we effectively can't do either of those missions because we will need a high, uh, two high-level soldiers. Uh, we're going to be shut down soon and I, I want to make sure that we have everyone available then. I would be okay with uh, losing one, but certainly not with losing two. Supplies are fine. I think we're almost looking for the best reward. Health plus one is bad. Getting an engineer is also not bad. The promotion here is good. That's what we're going for. So, whom do we want to promote? Um, I would say we're continuing to promote the sharpshooter. Uh, they seem to be in a bond, uh, which is interesting. Or they do have the option for a bond. Um, so far, I really would not put another high level soldier there but rather a rookie they have seven days gets us a promotion and that's okay we a impactful run but certainly one that we can deal uh, that we can get something out of so back to our colonel uh, we hope that that colonel who's called hunt is going to carry everything so we're going to go with remote start we're going to go with Shredder. Probably tactical rigging because it is very good. The commander running things. Um, got plenty of let's time use to Silent focus. Killer uh, so From that we seen, stay hidden. We're going to take that uh, extra Shrapnel. We're going to take uh, that extra Claymore. We're going to take that extra rigging. More inventory space is what we need. We're going to take Banish, because it is very, very good. I like Needle, that's good. We're going to take Blood Trail, to make him a more effective killer. We're going to take Sting, uh, for that extra shot from Distraction. Homing Mine isn't bad, but I think... For now, I'm almost inclined to go with Needle and save the remaining points. Having that double piercing, so um, armor piercing plus shredder is gonna be great. Pretty solid build for him.
unfortunately no upgrade whatsoever. Well, gotta gotta go with what we have, I suppose. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. Yeah, he's he's researching the breakthrough, which is fine. Having plus one damage is okay. Certainly Presumably. nothing uh, that a is outstanding. We gotta get more resources beam. at this the point, specifically to continue armor and weapon research. That is the biggest issue. And the there, there is the defense of the adventure that need I was mentioning. And look at that heavy mag. Codices, priest, gatekeeper. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty tough mission. Let me just equip the team real quick. We can't afford Okay, the first set of soldiers is uh, done. Uh, we do have a specialist, um, a sniper. Uh, we do have a ranger. Um, of course, Haunt is the reaper who's going to lead it. And we got uh, Fatal here, our major skirmisher who's going to uh, join the fray. As you can see, I modified and color coded uh, the guys a little bit. Uh, so uh, for the one, uh, for the first watching. Um, who owns the safe game? I'm sorry, you gotta deal with colors now. I used our med kit and uh, the little bit of ammunition that we do have. One slight advantage is uh, I could uh, use the weapons from the legacy pack from the DLC, uh, which he obviously has not yet had access to. He will be able to have access to those weapons afterwards, so congratulations, you just earned them. Uh, they do have slight improvements, so a little bit of modifications, which is better than no uh, mods, I suppose. And let me get the second team of squaddies ready. Well, I guess there's not much to get ready to because I can't even give them any equipment at this point. Uh, the only thing that's left over is one EMP bomb, so I would say the lucky rookie here. Unnamed rookie takes the EMP bomb. Kellen Moore, and he's going to be the guy. He hopefully is going to throw it on uh, one of those pesky, uh, pesky, pesky tanks. And that's it. Let's launch the mission and see if we can. Well, here we Attention are. All hands. Right this is not a drill. The, the chosen are attempting a ground assault on us with heavy weaponry. Prepare to defend the ship. We have to take out that gun. The enemy turrets are hammering the ship. We have to take them out before they breach our hull. Does look super good, and we do not Commander, have a defense matrix. Some sort of certainly got to get that uh, cannon There's no down. way we can take off while that thing is operational. They're powering the cannon with a supplementary generator on board that truck. It will probably take them some time to build the charge. So if we can take that thing out, the cannon itself will be useless. Gotcha. Good. So we're coming in hot. Uh, let's take a look. This here is our team number one. I should have color coded them more brightly. Good. We got uh, Fatal here as our skirmisher. We got a couple of rookies uh, who are really not fitting that well into the picture, to be honest. We got uh, Michelle here, um, who's going to be our healer and specialist, and we got Haunt whom I am looking for to hopefully salvage a lot of the bad uh, choices that have been made. Me. A Reaper can be a pretty strong help if you use him correctly. You can already foresee that there is a pack of enemies down there. So... Vogue says I am to obey. Go a tiny bit further in. Sniper takes um, one of the best positions, which would be probably here to stabilize the aiming angles. We're going to go in closer with Kaun. He is uh, going to stay there. I am fully expecting to grapple with Fatal very soon. Shell takes full cover. There now. And the rookies, well, okay. it's really something else. 
don't want to really trigger anything over here. Position so confirmed. Be careful. Closing on target position now. Moving on target location. Headed there now. The rookies are taking the detection. But maybe we're going to get a couple of hits in. Let's see what we're dealing with. The assessment should be quite leveled. So I am expecting that she's gonna be quite strong. Um, yeah, yeah, quite a few strength here. So easy to hit from high ground. And she's luckily uh, vulnerable to skirmishers and we do have one. Revenge is a pretty nasty mod. Immune to melee is nasty as well. That's a combination. Holy moly. You're unlucky. And is overwatch upon ending her turn. And is immune to reaction fire. If she instead of general would have regeneration on top of it, that would be probably almost the worst case scenario for her. At the very least, you will die Pretty mean honor. setup. All return shots plus uh, low we ground. We just picked up um, the chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position. Uh, defense. Makes it harder to hit her. Missed. Advent forces on the ground. That might be our EMP grenade target. about say is this here a cursed campaign we can explode this making the start a bit easier for us the chosen will take three turns before she arrives at our position remote start over there I would very much oh like God. to move over here that's not going to be enough for a remote start but you know what we can do skirmishers are excellent for this presence there we go I'm taking an open position. position because I want to use uh, the uh, cover a little bit uh, later. And there you go, that's the answer. That's why Remote Start is such a strong skill. This will be big. Alright, cover taken care of. <laughs> nice. Good. What else? We got a sniper here. We gotta do something. How about we're killing that specter? Two screen rounds coming in handy. Did we kill him? Almost. Good. Rookies. We got quite a few of them. Position confirmed. Starting to set up the mag. Good copy. Moving on target. Going over. Who stuff here? This is promotion. Nailed it. Very nice. Good job, who stuff. There is no shame in their defeat. They know nothing of their actions. Okay. Further. 
Oh, he still has the EP bomb. We're, we're not uh, going to use uh, that one now. Not yet. I said hit. Another promotion. Unfortunately, didn't completely take care of the cover. Alright, we can't fully charge in, which means Bien, how about we me well get just a tiny bit closer, full cover, and take down the mech. How about not doing that? No ha Fatal is the fallback option, and instead... Roger that. Let's use the rookies. Enemy down. Another promotion. Good job. Fully get there. That's a problem. Only sixteen percent chance to hit him. He's in full cover, there's a chance that he's going to retreat. So one of the things that we can do is Overwatch here. Overwatch with Fatal. Put our rookie here into essentially full cover by sparing in a protocol. And then the elite soldier can only hit the people in full cover. Not the sexiest uh, play, but 16% shots are not helpful either. He just walked himself in a situation where he's burning, and he's taking a couple of shots. Alright, luckily that one missed. Perfect. First pack, tick mark, taken care of. Chosen is moving closer. He's not quite here. The elders possess many gifts. Where they see you, they send me. Good. We don't want to. We don't want to use moving any of position. our um, Reaper action yet. We're not simply so going to flank him. Couple of shots. Fortunately, not very su uh, successful so far. Continuing to flank. Very good. Target eliminated. Another rookie with a promotion. They die as warriors, as great a death as one could mm -hmm. hope for. Don't want to go here because we could theoretically uh, trigger another pack, which we clearly don't want to. Moving on target location. Putting our healer in cover. Entendido. En movimiento. Moving to dedicated and I'm going to play that uh, a bit more defensive for now. Scanning. She's immune to overwatches, which means I am on the move. We are free to reload. Let's reload. For now. I will watch. On peut y aller. Je reste en observation. Good. Ready to engage. Locked and loaded. Got a few overwatches just in case Overwatch. another pack yeah, triggers. But we really want to uh, get her next Their cannon one. is primed and ready to fire. Unfortunately, without a grenadier, we might not be able to get rid of her cover. Well, uh, we we got a claymore, so I suppose that would at least work. She will go. Here ish, so she's close. Don't, don't be fooled by how silent. I am at your service. 
There we go. I could write a book about XCOM and playing it. Word of the uh, Avenger has spread even to the elders' ears. Predictable. As always, the lady. Commander. It's one of the elders chosen. Predictable. Good. We're definitely in range for a couple of sweet, sweet grenades. Yeah, we got one over here, for instance. Love it. Moving into a position where we could reach her. And let's start with teaching her manners. There we go. How clumsy of you! Well, we could continue by shredding her. Even without grenades. I think that's the right play here. Let's go with Sting. The hunter strikes. I must have miscalculated. Well, the 90% shot unfortunately failed. Gotta get rid of her armor. Alright, we're definitely, we would uh, sacrifice this rookie here if we're not killing her this turn. But I'm positive that we will, which is why I'm going forward, obviously. The remaining threading was important. You lack nuance! Anywhere because we leveled the entire block. Here my strike. Nice. That was a good hit. Okay, before we're using him, let's continue dead. taking shots at her. Interestingly, we can't do that with our sniper. All right. Me dirijo a la posición indicada. Moving up. Shotgun. That's a critical damage. I won't be slowed by your feeble attacks. All right. I see a. He is hopefully hitting, uh, hitting in, uh, hitting her very well. You your can see that with her 50 to 60 hit points, she is still a. Pretty considerable fall. Yeah. Weapon right Try as you might, you will never stop the hunt. Uh, 60, seeing just how much damage we're dealing to her. Alright, moving into full cover. Moving we're out. now having the rookies, that's never a really good business plan. With rookies. Half cover versus half cover. Head into that location. Let's choose half cover. Saul. Moving up. Nice little hit. Now the battle can begin. Position confirmed. Moving into full cover just because I don't want us to be hit. Target disabled. Ten extra ability points. I wasn't even sure that they would give that much. Only well, ever my good for you, I suppose. Now uh, you leave me no choice but to flee once again. Excellent work, Commander. 
We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least, we've held off the Chosen for another day. We've got system got failures it. across uh, the board, Commander. Put on the gun. We can't That's take sure. hits like that. And there's another pack running into us very, very soon. So far we're doing surprisingly well, guys. And I would say, just all things considered, this here might be a good cliffhanger. I want to get away from those one, one and a half hour episodes and move more towards half an hour. Uh, those seem to be much more digestible. So how about we're um, agreeing to make a slight stop here and we're going to revisit uh, that situation in the next episode. Uh, stay tuned and uh, thank you very much for watching as always. If you like what uh, what you're seeing, if you like uh, the saving the disaster campaigns, now is a perfect opportunity to write that in the comment section below. And in case you haven't followed the channel so far, might even be an option to subscribe. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, see you in the next episode, guys, and laters. Bye-bye.